We left Babawad in search of water and We walked around the palm farms as well as irrigated other plots of agriculture. We saw a lot of pomegranates. Ow! Spikes? Yeah. This is something I learned about palm trees and date palms in Morocco. They're spiky and they can hurt you. Little bud. You see them? These are almond blossoms. Look at the little buds. This tree's blooming even more. And check out this caspa from the other night. We were there at sunset. You'll like it. It looks like Ait Ben Hadou up there. Another old looking caspa. texting and driving the donkey. We were some of the few walking. Everyone else at least had a donkey. Smells like fertilizer. These rides were luxurious. Others were more packed full. Water. We found what we came for, huh? Water. It's still wet. Put this on. Uh -oh. We found a shop, I hope. Nobody's here? No, there's a guy in the back. Since I didn't want to break the well, I went to the store and got two bottles of water. It took some time for the guy to fetch them, but we got them. We continued to walk down this road toward Ait Ali, saw more of our friendly donkeys, and we came across a beautiful school and sat in the shade as the temperatures were increasing. In Morocco, it's usually easy to find a store with water. Not the case here. It's a race in Tamnugolt. The horse versus horsepower. When we got back to the ecolage, it's time for a snack of some oranges, some peanuts and dates, and exploration of more of the architecture and natural beauty around the place. There's an attention to details that brings an aliveness to every square of the lodge. While the open design of the ecolage allows others to connect, there's still little private hideaways to sneak off to if you're in need of a little bit of alone time. And this was Andrea's bit of alone time. I had gone back to Agdes to go to the CTM station in order to change the time and destination of our tickets. Our host Matilda had convinced us to take a trip to Mahamid. So I had to go into town and pay an additional five dirhams per ticket in order to change them. And the man at the CTM was so helpful. His name was Mohammed. Inspired by the days before sunset, we went out a different path for a different perspective. Still checking out those fawny rocks that make up the land here. I wonder if they're from a volcano. Here the rocks just gonna chip away chips or dandruff.
they're saying come here fast. I'm like, what is down there? A bunch of donkeys or? This camera doesn't do any service, but that's just crazy. It's a big yellow moon. Harira soup tonight. Yeah. <laughs> Shukran. Welcome, Lala. I'm excited to try these veggies. I think it's potato and cauliflower with cheese sauce. Mm. Mm -hmm. Looks yummy, huh? In here we have chicken tagine with preserved lemon. Oh, look at that sauce. From the farm here. How is it? Wow, it's so good. Try this. I love it. Mm hmm Very tasty. Mm hmm Wow, mm. look at that chicken leg. Right? Looks juicy, huh? Mm hmm mm, Yummy chicken. So this tagine is really unbelievable. Kind of tastes like a hush puppy from Long John Silver's in a really good way. I think that's even sweet potato. Andrea thinks it's orange turnip, but this thing is real, real tagine. Look at the consistency. This is, I, I don't know. It, it, it. <laughs> but what matters is the taste. The taste of the sauce, the taste of the chicken from the farm. And this tastes really sweet, so I don't know. It's sweet potato. Mm -hmm. Dessert of the day. Um... Adding... Homemade yogurt with apricot, dates, and almonds. Okay, okay, boss. It's good. Very good. Fresh and sweet. Just right. Do you see my flower? Mm -hmm. So good. Well, the food here has been very healthy, including this uh, yogurt for dessert. With apricot. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It has good apricot taste. And the yogurt. Mm. Homemade yogurt. It's so good. Four by four in the desert. It's kind of like doing donuts. It's fun. <laughs> it's... <laughs> Just get wet and some people get sandy. 